And for the glycolic pill, you only need four things. You need your fan brush. You need the glycolic acid. You need some pads. And you need your um, prep solution, be it acetone, alcohol, or something like this. So actually, you'll need five things. You're gonna need a neutralizer. And I use, I just use baking soda with a little water. I use about one teaspoon of baking soda with about one, one quarter to one third cup of hot water so that the baking soda totally dissolves in the water. I just wanna say that glycolic peels are so easy. They're super easy. Very simple. I know a lot of people or professionals, they like to complicate chemical pills and they're, they're really easy to do yourself. You just have to educate yourself, read the right materials and be super careful. First thing you need to do is wash your face. So this is my Avino Cleansing Face Bar. This, this is amazing, I love this. I have it in a towel because it's wet and I don't want it to get all over my hands. So I wash my face twice with this. It cleans really, really good without like, I don't know, it is kind of drying, but it's like not as drying as something else. I have my peel prep solution, I have my cotton swab thing, and I'm just gonna soak this up really good. You have to prep your skin with either a peel prep solution or alcohol. 70%, 90% alcohol, or you can use acetone, but you have to do that to defat your skin to remove any excess oils in your skin. And you need to do that wherever you plan on putting this peel, you have to do it. So if you wanna do your lips, then you need to defat your lips. The glycolic acid I'm using is only 10%. This stuff is, it's powerful. Like the 10%, like it's crazy. So anyway. This is Med Peel brand. It comes with this pump. I'm going to use this brush. I'm just gonna squeeze this. See, it's like a gel. It's just a gel. So I'm gonna put two pumps on there and I'm gonna start on my cheeks because my cheeks have uh, need the most work. This says daily exfoliator on it and I'm not sure if I would use this straight on my face every day. For me, I, I don't think I would do that. I think that would be overkill. So I'm just gonna put that on. pumps on this side. I mean, I'm right-handed, but apparently I'm pretty good with my left hand. I'm gonna add uh, two more pumps. You can put this on your lips. I'm not gonna do it this time because I just my lips just peeled really good um, tonight and I, I scrubbed that skin off. I really like to use lemon, just straight lemon or lime juice because that uh, makes my lips peel really good. This stuff tastes like vitamin C, which is not a good taste. And so I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes. And right now it's just tingling. Um, it's sticky, it's a little sticky, a little tacky and it's just this tingly, itchy sensation where I just wanna scratch my face. Um, it's annoying, and it used to be really, really, really intense. All right, so I'm gonna use this old cut up piece of t-shirt. I'm gonna dip it in my neutralizer, and I'm just gonna wipe my face with it. I also put my fan brush in the neutralizer solution swished it around in there real good. I rinsed my face. I used my micellar cleansing water. Next, I'm going to use my Fade Bright. Okay, next, I could either use this retinol serum or I can use this vitamin C. For no particular reason, I'm going to use the vitamin C. Next is this Clean and Clear Salicylic Acid Moisturizer. Embryo Reese Moisturizer. So next is this, the green version of this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. 
And that's it. That's the end of my glycolic pill routine. You got the prep, you got the pill, you got the post routine, and that's that's pretty much all I do.